Let's talk about that project. First part, how would chemical reactions happen if carbon wasn't there? Think about the main chemical reaction that builds up and breaks down the polymers, okay? Uh, dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. How would those occur if carbon wasn't there? We can still have oxygen, we can still have hydrogen, but no carbon, okay? So that would be my suggestion for the first part. Think about dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. You can use any of the uh, examples from carbohydrates, maybe fats, building triglycerides. You could also use peptide bonds, right? So diagram one of some of those reactions if carbon wasn't present. Okay, that's part one. Part two, think about what does it mean for something to be alive? How did we define life in, in week one? Go back and watch those videos if you don't remember, right? Does it grow and develop? Can it process energy? Um, you can, in theory, do, do, can it adapt and evolve, right? Does it have DNA? Um, so does it maintain homeostasis? So think about those characteristics that make something alive. And then use your knowledge of how to set up an experiment in the scientific process to develop an experiment given any resources you want. You can use whatever you want. You can use how much time you want. I don't care. This is like a fantasy land. We have, we have like Bezos money here, okay? Uh, to develop an experiment to test if this thing is alive, okay? Just be careful. Some characteristics that we think are, are with living things, like the ability to move. Can all living things move? No, right? Fungi, plants, they can't move. They're stuck in their spot. So keep to the universal characteristics of life when designing your experiment. And don't forget to outline what do you think your results would look like? What's your hypothesis? How are you going to set it up? Have your control group, right? And you'll be good to go. You got this. I promise. Ask me questions if you need help or if you're stuck.